what's going on? Yeah. Well, a lot of things. Yeah. We always have more activities and ideas that uh, resource for moving out. Mm. I think that uh, we are in, in a moment that we began to run again mm. after our shifting of changing uh, ICAE in, in the assembly of uh, Manila and then in Ocho Rios. And, you know, everybody agreed with the change, but, you know, we need to, to, to prepare ourselves, our minds, for, for moving to the change. Always cost uh, a lot. Mm. And more in a global network with uh, very important regional bodies, uh, very difficult to, to move uh, mm. easy. I believe that uh, uh, we finally had uh, a lot of uh, networking and opportunities to move uh, at global level. Mm -hmm. And this moment is a very important one because I really hope that our General Assembly that is in a such a special place like Africa that all of us need to to see Africa and uh, this for me it will be uh, a place that uh, all the global movement of adult educators can meet renew our energies and and, 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 and and finally decide how kind of global network uh, we need and we wish. Mm -hmm. What is behind this new awakening apart from the movement? I know you have been involved in the World Social Forums mm -hmm. and all the other. Are they playing a role in the reawakening of of the international movement for education again? Is that coming up on the agenda because of the other movements? Or uh, is there a relationship between them? I think that this is a big challenge for us. Mm. Uh, we are part of the International Council of the World Social Forum, and we are a large, a long struggle mm. uh, for putting um, our concerns in, in the International Council. Um, until now, we are two or three representatives for adult education in this uh, council, and, but we try to do a lot mm -hmm. because we consider this space like a learning space. And we try to, to share with other social movements that for building a, a, a new world, we need first to begin to rebuild ourselves and learn, learn not from one to each other, that this is very important, listen a lot, and try to really change many things that we are portrayed for our cultural backgrounds, educational backgrounds, and, and and it's very important to move to this kind of, to be interpreters, translators. And I see that we in the future, like adult educators, have a very important role in this kind of spaces to be uh, cultural translators, to understand really from other cultures and to try to, to move together. Mm -hmm. Change is slow. We are talking now about the next ECOI meeting and the next Confrontier meeting and also the immediate concerns apart from getting the network globally to work again. What kind of perspective are you thinking about when you talk about the changes that are going to take place now? Is it 5, 10, 15, 20 years? <laughs> well, I don't know how to say in English the global, uh, the um, crystal ball, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, in this moment, United Nations is very weak, yeah. and I believe, like people that came from the civil society, from the social movement, that we must do 
our best effort to strengthen the United Nations because until the moment is the more democratic space that the governments have. And UNESCO is part of the uh, United Nations and we know that we need to, to do an extra effort to, to support and to, to push at all levels for the strengthening of the UIE, that it will be the uh, agency in charge of Confintea. That is, I think, our first <laughs> uh, challenge. And then, in the same, in the same level, we need to mobilize all our resources, all our wisdom, our practices for, for pushing for uh, a new Confintea, but not only for a new. Uh, we have the agenda for, for the future, and yes. until now, it's a very well done agenda. And, 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 and you know that in many places we are pushing to put in practice because mm. one thing is the, the, the government sign the, mm, yes. the commitment, but then it's not so clear the political will for fulfill the commitment. Yeah. And I believe that uh, we have a big uh, challenge in this. Yes.